You're such a movie star, darling. Look at you. All egg-shaped with a little hat on your head and four eyes so nobody can sneak up on you. All we need to do is put a couple arms on you and equip you with some batons and you'd be like, uh, coming back from America. G.I. <laughs> Joe Transformer is coming at you right here on the street. Uh, this robot uh, brought to you by, if you haven't figured this out by all the other movies, is brought to you by Village East. I own nothing of this, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad I don't own nothing of this. This looks like a failed attempt at a no a nose cone on a uh, ship uh, going to space. Or perhaps a escape pod for uh, uh, the monkeys of the planet of monkeys. You know, the Vegeta. <laughs> Dragon Ball people, Dragon Ball Z in case you don't know. Learn up on your uh, anime. Learn up on all your TV if you want to know more about what I'm talking about because TV talk is my talk a lot. But there was a lot of good messages in TV talk. In TV land, everyone has a smile. In TV land, everyone gets some fun. In TV land, there's drama, excitement, and laughter, and never anything but a great old time after. In TV land. In TV land, George Jetson saw these things. <laughs> we were introduced to many things from TV land. TV land has been a big part of the inspirational wheel that uh, grinds all of science and industries. Because people dream it and then they see that the people want it or need it or desire it in some fashion. And then it is built. In some cases, it's not built for the movie. In some cases, the movie is just reflecting what has already been built, but will be released to people so that they have uh, more of an ease when they say, Oh, poor kid, 1.0, driving along, doing a job doing a job that the security guy did. I hope he got a good pension or something else. Mmm, <clears throat> doggy. Yeah, in actuality, though, eventually a lot of shit, um, security systems, other things like that, will be guided by these types of machines. Then what will happen is that will just put more of a burden on the overburdened uh, society as it is. But hopefully by that time, there is in well, uh, well, um, financial abilities to give everybody a small piece of the pie so that it still keeps the pyramid of money going and doesn't create more problems because what has happened is that the problems continue to uh, raise because of all kinds of fundamental problems. Mainly, it starts at home, people. <laughs> Careful what you're teaching those damn kids. They're gonna grow up and do shit like this and then you'll be crying. Why am I boy? Why am I boy in trouble? Why am I boy? Why am I boy? Oh, well, it's because and you didn't pay attention to your boy and you didn't also pay attention to the way that the uh, economical uh, rule systems are being made in your area. Meaning your laws, in other words, and your mandates and your uh, codes and your other things. People always worry just about what they hear about major crime or they don't even 
even think about what major crime is. He's to prevent major crime, freeing up manpower, so that hopefully there can be a solution to other problems. Instead of focusing trusted, uniformed humanoid apes to do the job. And they can move the job to a machine and move the a different area into greater demand. Well, until next time, this is Willis out. <laughs>